What is up, everybody? We are back again with another character reveal. Uh, a little late than normal, right? Um, unfortunately, it's, well, it's the holidays, and it's kind of hard to, like, get me away from my family during this time. So I squeezed out a couple hours to film and record and edit. So, yeah, guys, it's the holidays. Enjoy your family, man. Enjoy the time off. Unwind a little. The game's not out yet. It's going to be soon. The hype train is leading towards it. Just enjoy time with your family. That's all I'm saying. It's a holiday season. Always make time for the fan, right? Um, so yeah, so we ended up getting the Kuma trailer. Uh, we already had an idea about Kuma um, from the move list influencer weekend stuff. So we know exactly what the moves are, how little difference there is between Panda and Kuma. Um, so yeah, let's hop into it. Uma. Hopefully they make the character more fun than than what the moves list was showing because like the moves list wasn't showing much. It should the moves list showed like a couple of charged moves, a different wall ender. Um, if all she did a knockdown, I do remember that. That's about it, really. Oh, that pose though. <laughs> Such a cool look. Like, the fur looks amazing now. All right, still got the Brian intro. Okay, I think, actually, I think that's new. Okay, there's one of the charge moves. And there's the ender from the wall combos. Another charge move. Okay, the throw. Poly unbreakable still. Okay, so in piston. That was four, four, one plus two. One plus two, I think. Yeah, okay. Okay, then there's Demon's Breath. That was the Heihachi tribute move. Yeah, we saw this on Twitter. It was hilarious. <laughs> Look at Panda's face. Watch. He's like <laughs> he looks at her hand like John Cena. <laughs> okay, yeah, we saw that in the move list. There's the butt splat. I think that move was like back one plus two. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's what it was. Okay. Oh, okay, that's... That really was not in the move list. Is there anything else they're going to show that's not in the move list? Uh, nah. Okay, so. Electrics and Heat was not in the move list. Because, like, in the Influencer build, I think it just showed, like, the, all, only the charge moves. And it didn't say anything about this. Well, Namco being sneaky, man. Hiding stuff to the last minute. Huh. So that means Panda probably gets some Ling moves too. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what li what Panda's gonna do. Hmm. That is super interesting. So they are holding back in from the build that everyone's been playing. The final build. <laughs> that, that shit was not final, man. Buyers. Okay. Um. So let me chop this up really quick. And I'll catch you guys in a couple seconds. Alrighty, and we are back. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so I think that is a new move. Oh, a new extension at least from right here, the two lows. I don't think he was ever able to do that out of the butt jump. I think he only got one hit. Because I know Kuma lost the double hand swipe from Hunting Bear Stance. So maybe that's where they put it. And that three hit is now the bear's wall combo. Like, I don't think they show it in the video. There was a, a, a couple of clips that showed up that had like a, the optimal wall ender. And it was like those three hits into the butt slap thing. Okay, and here, that is a big nerf, because um, based off everything that we were seeing, um, that automatically tail spins on counter hit now, the down back four, and it's, I think, like only plus six on hit, and it's still like minus 20 something on block, so like, it's death, really. And the throw from Hunting Bear Stance, you, 
in certain situations you can really walk it and avoid it so i'm pretty sure they're making it track much better and then of course that that blue spark is it just buffs up that second move so it's plus on block but that throw um obviously it's unescapable but it's just showing that it tracks better now which is interesting Okay, so Twin Pisson, standard. Okay, the Insta Tailspin. And I think that's up back too. The one that causes that secondary tornado spin. So that's probably what, what, the, what they're trying to show you in this little clip. Like what the actual use case is for that new tornado thing for Kuma. Man, because the fact that you can get the half circle forward to, to one is pretty crazy. So down forward to one. Forward one plus two, one plus two, and then up back two, and then half circle forward two one. The combo routes look much nicer now for the bears, to be honest. Before it was super simple. Okay, so up back two, ball splats, and then I think that's back three plus four. That, yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm not a huge bear player, but, so, I'm gonna call it back 3 plus 4. I know you bear players are gonna get at me if I, <laughs> if I'm wrong about it, but hey. Um, so yeah, so, up back 2, wall splats, back 3 plus 4, and then they show you the simpler combo ender. So back 2, 1, 1 plus 2. Shades of Heihachi. And then this interaction, man. You kind of feel bad for Kuma. <laughs> His face is just like devastated. Okay, and there we see one buff essentially for Kuma so far, right? Aside from the combo damage. Um, down back two can go into hunting bear stance. And then obviously one plus two oh, still flips the same way. The heat burst is the down back one animation. Which is good, because that move has a lot of range, and we all know Kuma needs range. No, it's, it's with a 2, though. Hmm. And then that new string is back 2-2-1. Two, two, that Tornadoes. And then butt, butt Splash. Like, that's the ender that that one video showed. So it was like, um, down forward 1-2, one, 1 plus 2. And then butt splash that hits grounded and like that just did a grip of damage in that one combo sequence I saw. Okay, and that move I believe is one plus back one plus two. The auto heat engager. I think it wasn't as fast as it seems. I think it was like 17 or 18 frames for the first hit. But it has really good reach considering it's punishing the forward forward too. And then that's the heat smash, which is hilarious. <laughs> he gets a salmon alley oop and then just smacks you the hell out of it. <laughs> it's like boom, finish goes out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the sequence that kind of broke Twitter, really, right? Just for the electrics part. Um, like Danco released a PDF update of the move lists on their on the site and they show what the input is it's down forward two plus three and yes it is heat only and there's two versions there's the, no the normal quick one and then a charged one the first one Kuma does here that has like the blue spark that one is the charged one which I assume that one is plus on block and then the other two are just normal ones um I wonder what like how punishable the normal one is on block and what is it? Is it a mid or a high? <laughs> right? Because you, like, you can't really tell. Uh, I, I guess it is a high. Like I, like, I don't see why they would give him a mid, a mid uppercut. Unless they just wanted him to be OP for that moment in heat, right? Um, but the cool thing is, like, when he does the G-Clef cannon afterwards, the second hit spikes, but the third one picks up in tornadoes. So that might actually be a, a really good pickup at the wall also. 
and in, like in all those weird situations where like you're not going to be able to get the second hit of say four one plus two one plus two the four one 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 might work in, all, in those situations okay so they're down back one two which is chargeable while in heat for plus frames we don't know how much it is and they both do chip wow okay and then the running one plus two is a heat engager <laughs> and he dashes out of it which is hilarious so then while standing one two again tornadoes and then back to one one plus two is it or is it back one back two one two i don't even know like i just know the first two hits are back to two one Either way, it's like he's he has good like low pickups. That tornado, like while standing one, hits really low, so he might be able to get good floats off that. And since the follow up hit afterwards is a gigantic ranged move, uh, he might he, like his combo possibilities are going to be pretty nasty. I think. And then here we have uh, the rage art, which is hilarious also, because he just goes golf, golfing with your, with your corpse, knocks you in the air, and does a heat-seeking torpedo. So random, but hey, it's Kuma. Like you can't really take the character too seriously. It would have been nice if they did like a rage art that like incorporated the salmon, but it was like maybe like a hot cheese rage art in second seven maybe, or some kind of homage to him. Like that would have been cool. But either way, Akuma looks really cool. Um, the bears are looking pretty beefy right now, to be honest. Because um, the, their main game is playing around hunting bear stands and doing the 50-50 rock, paper, scissors out of it. Um, so, like, their main problems before was, like, not necessarily combo damage, but, like, combo variety and pickups. Because they were kind of limited, to be honest. So with all these new pickups that they gave, with the wall standing one two, um, with what was that other punch? The, well, down forward one two, one plus two at the wall is huge. Especially because considering you get the unscaled butt attack afterwards, that's just awesome. Um, the way one 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 works, it's pretty interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to help them a lot in the combo side. Um, but yeah, like. The influencer build that happened a few weeks back didn't show anything about the electrics or anything. So I'm pretty sure once the Panda trailer drops, Panda's going to have probably a couple Ling moves while in heat just to give the character some variety. Because right now it's like both the bears are exactly the same aside from the heat smash and the rage art animations. So considering they showed this for Kuma with the electrics, Ling, or Ling, I mean, Panda probably gets... Um, Maybe Link's Storming Flower Punch, her down back one, maybe. Or maybe X marks the spot, or maybe one of the little flippy kicks. Who knows? It's very interesting. I'm eager to see what Panda brings to the table. Uh, so yeah, guys, um, I appreciate your time, like always. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.